I'm recording this intro at the end of my trip. I'm making a little video about my trip to Portugal. Right now I'm in Porto. It's our last day before going to Prague and we're at a beautiful hotel and here's Cody, so I'm gonna go. So I'm a bit euphoric right now. Staying at Quinta do Corte, which is Pierre Ivanovich's hotel in Portugal. And I just like can't really believe it. Like, I just can't believe that this is happening to me. Oh, little bugger. Look at this mirror. Like, what? Everything's perfect, it all checks out. I just feel like this is a little bit insane. Like, what are we doing? Like to turn off and on the lights, you just spin around and around. Like I can't with that. I can't, I'm dead. Oh, how do I get out? Okay, just like that. Oof, just gorgeous. I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough of the hotel. Everything was done by Pierre Jovanovic, who is a genius. We have Coco here in the kitchen. Hi, Coco. I really love how every room has its own personality, but still is complimentary to every other room and obviously stunning views out of every room. Now we're gonna head downstairs. I don't know what this little thing is, but it's so cute. The amount of inspiration that I've taken from this room is insane. I love the painted ceilings, love the colors, love all the textures, and the little pointy detail along the floor is so beautiful. Loved this little blue truck, just there for the vibes. And from this room, you can head out to the outdoor dining area where they serve dinner every night. I also learned that this is kind of common in Portugal to have this white stucco exterior and then to choose a vibrant color to go along the roof and around the windows. Like that's so fun. Right? Because all these things matter. Like little things? But you see how like I kind of want our bookshelves even to be like the book in the middle, for example, to be like some books, some cool things like this, like the cat in front of the yeah. books. The, you're getting so many of these things that sometimes we just display them on a shelf, but it's like Inter to have something feeling like it's lived in rather than just like, this is books and this is, do you know what I mean? It's just so simple. It's weird because I never think of these things as simple, but I do, like, do you mean like... Like it it has a unity of purpose. Like, there's nothing about this that feels gaudy. Like, everything feels yeah. very simple. Like, I want a little pyramid pillow. These frames. So amazing. These little guys. I'm so obsessed. The kitty. Yeah. Uh. Is that what these are?
before we checked out, they opened up this other room, I guess because someone else was checking in, so I just had to sneak my little way in there. And it was so cute, of course. Look at these tiles, so fun. I love a shower that you can just walk right out of and not have to feel like you're gonna slip and fall and die. Really out every window, it's so tranquil. And these hangers that look like you're gonna hex someone. Okay, I kinda knew I wasn't supposed to go up here, but I was just so curious and the paint color was so nice that I had to go explore. Are we allowed to go up there? Or no? no? Off to the pool. It is such a cute walk to the pool. You walk through the vineyards and you get to see the pool off in the distance. It's like, I'm coming. The pool kind of speaks for itself, so I'm gonna shut up. Had to pay one last visit to my favorite room before we left and have a little fun, you know? What's life without a little fun? <laughs> we. We got this hotel in Porto for the last part of our trip and it was so big and so gorgeous and I just couldn't believe it for the price we got it for. Wow. So I think I like Porto a little bit more than Lisbon and not just because it's a little bit cheaper and we're staying in a beautiful hotel. I feel like the city has an interesting vibe to it. I feel like I'm in a museum. I feel like I'm like taken back to like the pirates, not the pirates, like the sailors and like, like it's a port town. I feel like I'm taken back to a time where like you would see ships on the horizon and you'd like wave your little handkerchiefs. I'm loving it. I feel like everyone went to Portugal this summer, and I'm one of them. And it's a pretty small country, so you can kind of do a lot of the country in one trip. Like, we started in Lisbon, went down to Lagos, which is on the very south tip or border. And then we went up to Porto, went inland to Quinta da Corte, and then we came back out to Porto. It's all very beautiful. Kind of reminds me of California in some ways. That's that. I love it here, yes my dear.